I just received this in the mail today. It's from Art From The Heart and it's beautifully wrapped. I'm really excited to open it. Um, I got some swizzles, fizzers, and I also included in the order some Tamoy River paper. Um, they do have the new one as well, but I thought I'd like to have some of this as it's going to be um, difficult, like harder and harder to find soon. So I just got A4, which I'm going to cut down to A5 for my notebook. I'll move that away. There's their information if you wanted to follow them on social media. I'm so impressed that this is wrapped in red tissue paper, it looks lovely. So I don't have a pen in this filling mechanism. It's a narwhal. And I believe it's limited to 500 pieces worldwide. Um, I got the Narwhal Original Plus in the Matera White. There's also a black version. And it comes with this faux leather case, which I appreciate that it's faux leather. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is a vacuum filling pen. That's how it looks. I'll just pop that there, see what else is in the box, then I'll zoom in so you can see the pen better. So that's the user manual. I believe that's the guide for piston fillers, but I have seen videos online to show you how to fill a vacuum filler. I'll just move these out of the way. And I'll zoom you in so you can see the pen a bit better. My favourite colour combination. I got this in a medium nib, which on the side there. There we go, there's the little M there. And it has a narwhal design, beautiful design nib. It's taking quite a lot of turns. Oh no, it's me being. So it probably doesn't take that many turns, it's me being. Um, So then you just fill it in to the ink bottle, press it down, and when it gets to this section here, it should draw the ink up. So I'm going to be excited to play with that later on today. And this case, I do really like this case, so that's a nice added touch. I'm going to be brave and try and fill this on camera, even though it's a completely new filling system to me, but I thought it would be interesting to see how it goes. And I've also watched a couple of videos. I watched Gold Spot and Inquiring Minds and they showed you how to get a full fill because when you do it the first time you only get half. I've chosen to go with this Colt Pens and Dominant Industry collaboration, which is the Pearl series in the colour Dusk. And I'd say it's like a purpley grey colour, it's really pretty and it's got a lovely pearlescent shimmer to it. Um, so this is how it comes up, I have actually opened this already. It comes in a really sweet little bag. And inside you've got a beautiful shaped bottle. And you also get a little pipette as well, which is useful. So there's the shimmer in the bottom. I'm just going to give it a little shake to get it mixed up. I 
and I've got some kitchen roll to hand. I love seeing people when they um, do their videos when they're inking up a pen and they have a cloth that's got all the different colours they've used. So I'm going to try and find a reusable cloth to use in the future. Let's put that there. So I'm going to unscrew this end. Slide that all the way to the top. See if we can get this all on camera. That's quite a good film. So just give this a wipe. And then I'm going to try. Am I going to try the trick? Let's try it. Let's be brave. So I saw that you turn it this way up. Let me try and remember. So pull this down that way. Pull it all the way down, don't you? Yeah, pull it all the way down, and then you want to push it back up. So you get the ink to the top. Right, so it's going to be messy. I'm not feeling brave to go any further, so we'll try it from there. So then you turn it back up again. We need to give it a shake. So then let's try that again and see how. So I think if I was a bit braver and I went further up, I probably would have got more, but that's, I feel like that's a good film. I'm just gonna wipe that up and put the lid on quickly so I don't have any accidents. I need more hands. Key. I got a little bit on my hands. So one thing I've noticed with this um, pen, and I should have shown, I should have pointed it out before. But let's just quickly tighten that up. I should have pointed it out before because you might think that it was the ink. But this is, I think because it's not completely opaque, or it's got some transparency, because it has a black feed and the housing, it's not as brilliant white, well not even that it's not brilliant white, but it's not as white as the cap and this piece here. So it's a shame, I think it would have been nice if they could have used um, a clear feed and clear housing. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some paper and we'll try and get... Oh look, there's the ink is already settling. The shimmer, sorry, is already settling.
One other thing I wanted to show you was my collection of white and rose gold pens I have so far. I do have two more coming, um, they're on the way, but I just thought it'd be useful to see them lined up together and also the comparison of the different rose golds because I've noticed there is a difference in tone and also the white, um, they're not all identical. So um, the Coveco, I knew this was going to happen, it's um, developed a patina and I can polish that out. I haven't done that yet but that's something I can do but this will probably not be with my rose gold collection. This is my Twisby Mini, um, my Narwhal and this is a Hongdian 920 and this is a Pelican Jazz. This isn't even rose gold, this is just my glass dip pen but um, I've put that in there for the moment but if you can see the Pelican is very reddish orangey whereas the narwhal it's a lot paler. I love both. There's no I don't have a preference over either, it's just something to note. Also the Hongdian and the if I'm pronouncing that right, the Hongdian and the Pelican are closer in match, like to match. And then this is somewhere in between. So yeah I thought that might be a nice comparison.